Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to the start of the indie showcase. We're kicking it off with the best kind of games, which are romance games, some of my favorite ones. Um and uh um I never know how to start this shit without feeling super awkward. Um, so I'm just going to get right into the thick of things so we can actually get to playing this fucking game, which is wild as all hell. Happy Saturday! Um, uh, so, uh, Sam, do you want to introduce yourself to the group where they can find you on the internet? Anything you're excited about? Uh, my name is Sam Day. You can find me on Twitter at Pastorins, and you can find my games at pastorins.itch.io. And just between us gargoyles, uh, I think my episode of Party of One is coming out soon, where me and, I don't know, the dude, I don't know what his name is. I forgot his name. Just remember. Uh, are going to be playing my pro wrestling game, Hard Times. I think that's coming out at some point in the next week or so. So that's what I'm thrilled about. Yay. And who are you? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Fucking great question. Oh, uh, my pronouns are she, her. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm Nox. Uh, you can find me here on Variant Rolls channel pretty much all the fucking time. Uh, my portals are also sugar. You can find me on the internet at knocksknock 2 where I tweet about whatever I want, especially games. Um, something I'm excited about is playing this game, this wild-ass game. This is my second time playing it this week. Uh, so uh, hopefully I have a better handle on it than when I first played it. Um, and I'm really excited to see what the experience is like playing it with a... Uh, um, playing with somebody else. Um, yes! Very excited. Uh, um, I should also mention before I forget, before my nerves get to me, which they've already done. Did that work? Yes. Um, with these uh, games that I'll be uh, playing in every Saturday as part of the Indie Showcase, my hope is to uh, fundraise for great causes. So for the romance uh, block of programming, we're going to be raising funds for the Trevor Project. Um, and uh, we have a campaign set up on Tiltify. Uh, there are no donation incentives for this game. It, those two things don't play nicely. So I hope that you will just donate if you like what you see here. Uh, and just all the goodness of your heart. Uh, also, any bits that are donated during this block of time will also go to uh, the Trevor Project. Um, also, one more thing is uh, I'm running a giveaway for a copy of the game, which you can enter. Uh, I think the giveaway has started. Let me see what the command is. Um, what is the command for the giveaway? Um, <laughs> uh, the command for the giveaway is... Oh god, I just set this up earlier. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're getting there. Do you want me to, like, tell a story while you're looking? Yeah, don't you have, like, a nun game? Can you talk about that? Oh, yeah, okay, so I, I also wrote a game called Sanctuary, which is a belonging outside belonging game about gay wizard nuns. What is belonging outside belonging? Belonging outside belonging is the engine um, that powers Avery Alder's Dream Askew and, oh my god, it's Ben Rosen something's Dream Apart, which is at its core about, um outcasts and so on and so forth building a closed society and defining themselves against the outside world mm -hmm. so with that uh rich framework in mind i decided you know what gay wizard nuts <laughs> oh we got our first donation thank you so much Dope. That's, that's awesome i'm uh, not looking at twitch um oh uh, shit i gotta open up the actual tiltify campaign oh i don't care i don't care <laughs> i don't care that much Thank you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, oh my gosh, there's another donation. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I don't I don't have the campaign open because I tried to figure out how to run this giveaway. <laughs> I saw it already. <laughs> I said this up and I was like, oh, this is easy. Easy peasy, uh, easy. Yeah, let me, let me try putting this in the chat. Oh my god, another one came through. Holy shit, everybody. How much? I can't. And wait, we haven't even talked about the game that we're playing. I know. Um, All right, too. so I'm going to talk about that while you look for your thing. Um, <laughs> we are going to be playing today a game called Lightning Kiss by Quinn Byler. Quinn Byler? Quinn Byler. Quinn Byler is also one half of the team that wrote Songs for the Dusk, which is a Forge in the Dark game about 
the post post the post post apocalypse. I've played it. It's very good. Um, you can find. Yes, you can find her work at. Well, if you're here, you probably came through the tweet, so you can like find it there. But also, I need something to talk about. So you can find her work at mixquin.itch.io. Um. And I believe now, am I? And she is also the lead singer of a band called The Variants, which you can find at thevariantsmusic.bandcamp.com. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah! They I... are straight bangers. I will. T- they produce straight bangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how you should say that. Um, okay, so well, they're not straight bangers. Right, right. Nothing on the stream is going to be straight. That's right. The Variant Rolls channel is now irrevocably gay. It was already, so we're in great company. Excellent. Good, good. So this is good news. This, 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 this is the Gary-ant Rolls. I don't know. Uh, okay. The command to enter this giveaway is hashtag kiss. So, <laughs> so do that. Somebody fucking in this giveaway so I can see <laughs> if it works. Because <laughs> the giveaway should already have started. It should already be like locked and loaded, ready to go. Did you get like a confirmation or something? Oh my gosh. Oh, I see it. Yes, perfect. Yay, it worked. Okay. So, <laughs> yay. Great. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I will. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone. Oh my god, so many fucking donations. We've actually already hit the donation goal for uh, the entire the campaign. I'll be adjusting them with every um, every episode. Um, but we've already hit 100 bucks. So that's fucking awesome. Thank you so oh, much. Holy shit. Holy yeah, shit. yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Huh? It's good for writing the game that got us um, like yeah dollars in donations before we even started playing. I know. <laughs> Just you fucking wait, because this game is who boy. Oh, Nelly. Okay. Yeah. Again, thank you so much, everybody. Um, and uh, I will draw the giveaway towards the end of the game. And if you're not, if the person's not, oh, speaking of, Quinn's in chat. Hey. Um, um, if you're not in chat at the time, of, oh, and hey. Okay. <laughs> I just think I, I was telling say before that I don't talk to the chat on the live stream, but now I'm seeing all these familiar names. I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> I'm getting excited about it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> Um, fuck, what was I going to say? I'm so, like, already flustered now. Uh, I will draw at the end of the game, and if you're not in chat, I'll shoot you a message, and you can still win. Um, again, to enter the drawing for the giveaway of the game, it's hashtag kiss. Alright, let's do this thing that we've come here to do. Ah. Um, so, there is a lot of lovely, um, sort of, like, preamble, if you will. I'm going to just pass over that no read it read it read, read it. it are you I'm, sh- I'm gonna be real with you like how much preamble uh it's uh, one two three four five paragraphs three solid paragraphs too okay i'm gonna read it <laughs> or do you want me to do it do you want me to do my sensuous voice oh it's my god I, no please face. please yes 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 <laughs> yes she left your thoughts then she brushed your arm at the show since she made you laugh so hard, you were left. Ew. See, I can't read nope, paragraphs. Keep, keep but going. Gasping, reaching for air. Since she lingered in your embrace, letting you feel her heartbeat hasten. Can you, can you like hear? <laughs> Since she surprised you with her kindness and it he- sent your head spinning. Since the scent of her hair snared itself in your clothes and followed you everywhere you went, she feels like lightning in your chest. Is that the title drop? Boom. No, it's lightning kiss, but close enough. Shh. Okay. An electric <laughs> shiver in your limbs that sprints home to your core. The feeling is a charge and it pulls you to action. You want to kiss her. But all of that kindness could have been nothing. It could have just been friendly affection or sympathy. You don't want to read too much into her words or her smile or the way she looks at you. You don't want to risk it all. But is there really any risk in moving closer? In giving into that pull that just enough to see if it's pulling her too? After all, in this moment, she is standing behind, beside you in an undeniable way. That is the most lesbian fucking thing <laughs> I've ever read. That is so gay. It, like, takes me back. 
<laughs> high school and, like, sitting very awkwardly on the public but like the public transit with my leg pressed against my friends like <laughs> <I'm gay>. um, <laughs> no joke no joke no i <clears throat> i don't doubt it not for a minute it was great. Uh, it was beautiful. I loved it, and we're gonna keep going. Um, <laughs> uh, what is this game? It's a game for two players about the minutes you share just before a first kiss and everything that led there. Uh, so I need a friend who is graciously Sam, the lovely Sam. Ten six-sided dice, which we have acquired. Whoa. Dice. <laughs> dice. <laughs> Uh, and the resolve to make your feelings known, which we certainly have. Uh, we also uh, vow to each other to let the lightning guide us, to harness the lightning within each other, to skip time with each other, to take care of each other and ourselves. We will let ourselves say the thing that thrills us, revel in the fluttering change of actions. We won't hold back and we'll always follow those feelings. We will grasp the bolt and run with it. Uh, I'm going to skip some of this stuff because there is a lot more preamble, <clears throat> which is great to read through. I recommend it if you have the copy, but for the sake of getting to the meat and potatoes, we're going to do that. Um, oh, um, we should talk about boundaries, though. Um, uh, it's okay if we don't have any, but uh, we should establish any themes we don't want to come up or a certain type of touch or manner of speaking to be used. Um, as well as if there's a certain kind of, or what we want from the story we can also talk about that as well um super not interested in infidelity plots mm, okay big thumbs down okay um what else what do you mean by certain kinds of touch uh I, I don't I don't know. I mean, anything where you're like, this is definitely not something I'm okay with. I mean, we can also, we, we, we'll use the X card. Uh, yeah. yeah. If, if we cross any boundaries mm -hmm. unintentionally. Um, I can't think of any sort of touches to say, like, no to. You know me either. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, manner of speaking, like, you know, I don't, this is feels like a tender kissing game like no like hey fucking bitch you know what I mean? yeah no, no 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 not not until at least the third day please yeah at least uh. yeah yeah when you've got me in uh. handcuffs then we can do that then um do we is there anything particularly we want from the story or do we have to just kind of see where it goes i'm, I'm happy to ride the lightning hell yeah fucking ride that lightning um okay great nothing weird just gals being pals yeah, that's it. Only friends. <laughs> Just friends. Okay. Um, before we begin, we should talk about the setting we want to meet in. Uh, we should discuss where we are, when we are, and who we want to be. Uh, throughout the course of the game, we can also sort of adjust the scale of time that leads up to the kiss so it doesn't necessarily have to be like oh we are zooming in on these 30 seconds before a kiss happens we can stretch this out really as mm. as long as it makes sense narratively but to begin with um where and when are we okay here's the thing mm -hmm. when you give me an open slate like that is it too much no no my answer is always going to be outer space <laughs> okay I'm with you it's always outer space yeah you're out of space kind of lady Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we're playing a sci-fi sci setting. Why not? Are you are you down with that? Do you yeah, that? I'm 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 good to to um, you know, explore different things. Cool. Um, okay. So like, I mean, we're not just floating in the in the vacuum of space. Are we like on a spaceship or? Yes, queer it in space. I'm sorry, I said I was looking. <laughs> I am in fact looking in chat. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's there, there's some prime uh, choice content in chat, so I don't blame you. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What are your what What's your? Are you uh? Are you ooh, exploring worlds uncharted? No, no, no. Not until the third drink. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just the third drink. 
<laughs> which, which is the oh, same oh, the oh, same oh, day. Oh, what, I don't know what kind of science. I I put that out there. Um, what okay. kind of science fiction stuff do you like? I'm I'm verse I'm as it were. Uh, I'm more into um. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm more into um the uh, the grittier science fiction. So like. Firefly is kind of what I think of. Okay. Like like homier, I guess, versus like slick and shiny like a Star Trek mm-hmm. or or heavily leaning into fantasy like Star Wars or something. Mm-hmm. So so Firefly is gonna, probably more fun. Like something Firefly, like maybe we're less Orientalist, but still y- yeah. um, <laughs> like scrappy space smugglers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, out in the dark between worlds trying really not hard not to or you know feeling each other out trying to be gay in space but not knowing if the other person is gay which is different from like terrestrial gay yeah yeah exactly (laughs) no I mean 100% you're it it definitely is I I have no idea what the fuck you're you're talking about but it sounds great Um, (laughs) I feel like I'm dressed a little bit like Mal right now there you go, there you that go. just kind of worked out the way, which was always my favorite character in Firefly. It's who I would have cosplayed as. Anyways, um, okay, cool. I'm into that. Yeah, so we're we're in space. We fly some sort of dingy spaceship, doing smuggling jobs and shit. Mm-hmm. I think that's mm-hmm. a I think that's a great setup. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Is it just the two of us, or like, are there other people going like mm, these lesbians? <laughs> <laughs> um oh that's a great question sure there at least there ha- like there has yeah. to be right like at least two other people yeah like let's just say three other people but they don't matter only we matter exactly it's true <laughs> um okay who are you um I don't want to be like the ship's engine. I gotta, I gotta like, get out of like Firefly brain. I don't know. So let's let's forget the fire. We live in a timeline where Firefly does not exist. I want to be like the ship doctor, or the ship engineer, like the the sort of scungy grease monkey. Mm, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Who are you thinking? Oh no. Okay. Well, I've already planted the seed, so I'm gonna be the captain. <laughs> okay. You know what? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Then I'll be the scungy grease monkey who oh, lives, yeah. like, inside of the engine. Mm-hmm. Um, you own this boat, but it's not going to fucking run without me, mm-hmm. so... No, no, yeah, in more ways than one. Um, what is your okay. name? Okay. <laughs> don't, don't know what you're talking about. What? <laughs> Here in space? Yeah, pals, in space. What's your name? Uh, oh, shit. Things <laughs> suck. Yeah, I know. So is the hard part. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm, my bookshelves are right there, so I'm, like, looking at this Oh, spot. no. I can't see my bookshelves from here. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ooh, I have a good one. Okay. I have a good one, too. I just, I just like, I saw a, a book spot. Simone. Ah! I love it. What are your yeah. pronouns? They are. Okay, great. All right. I'm Oliver. Okay. She, what are your pronouns? She, her. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Like, I'm not trying to play another fucking, like, soft butch chick, but uh, fucking Jesus. Here we are. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. For reference, the two of us are playing, like, are in uh, a non stream game of uh, <laughs> good society right now. <laughs> um, yeah. 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 And, and everybody's butch, except for my character. Yep. Yep, that is true. That is a true thing. Okay, so we have Simone, we have Oliver, we have a bucket of bolts um, Mm -hmm. that is my own child, who I birthed myself, (laughs) probably. Yeah, what a magical experience that was. Yeah. So, so, uh, like, where is our scene taking place, maybe? Maybe we should establish sort of, like, even if future scenes don't take place, what's, like, our place we're always going to return back to? You know what I mean? Um, 
I don't know. I like it if it's like in this steamy, dirty engine room. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. come, I come to see you, or you have something to show me, or whatever. In, yeah, in yeah. Because it's it's a place where I'm very comfortable, but where I, I I'm used to being alone. Mm -hmm. And it's a place that perhaps you should be more comfortable in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay. Great. Very comfortable. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, I want to mention because it is in the uh, play materials um, that playing through this game it doesn't have to be a first kiss it could be confession of feelings a proposal or maybe a first time for something else uh, but we'll just uh, we'll, I, I feel like right now it would be a first kiss maybe yeah what do you think yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's certainly not going to be like a first I don't know oil change <laughs> no that's that's i've seen you change the oil before yeah not until marriage uh, yeah <laughs> okay well that's where the relationship ends i guess huh <laughs> not all not all aspects can be compatible um uh okay we're gonna start the game now so there right. are, there are three phases that we will move through uh the blush brush and breath phase um, when we do three rounds of all of those, we will go to the kiss. All right. Um, I should mention, uh, it is, uh, Quinn, graciously enough, added this recently uh, in an in update to the play documents, but uh, just as a matter of safety tools, bleed is something that can definitely happen with a game like this. Um, so making space to discuss uh, or decompress, discuss any sort of feelings that have come up in the game, or decompress after the fact is super important with something like this. Um, and, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, yep. Uh, uh, okay, let's go to the blush phase. So, blush phase is a period of electric tension. It's the moment of overwhelming nerves just before you make your move. It could be the trailing end of a pregnant pause, or the moment in your conversation just before a sympathetic touch is called for. Uh, so at the start, we choose a descriptor. There is a list in the play document, um, uh, and this uh, descriptor represents uh, each of our character's emotional states, uh, and we will use that to paint how we act in the next phase of the game. Cool and good. So this is a big, long list of adjectives. Mm -hmm. um, I was gonna say, oh my god, what's happening right now? But you know what? We can figure that out later. Yeah. Based on how we're feeling. Um, I think that Simone is feeling tense. Okay. Uh, I think Oliver is feeling determined. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we're gonna answer three these three questions. Uh, and uh, we can sort of answer in kind of bounce back and forth for who answers first share a little bit of the load there uh so what captivates you about her that's the first question and of course this is subject to like us approving because we have not really talked about who these characters are beyond their role in the ship and mm -hmm. their names mm -hmm. so um i think that what captain uh, captains captivates simone <laughs> about oliver is like how resolute she is, she sees that something must be done, and she does it. Yeah. Um, I think that what I find captivating about Simone is that she is very persistent in her work, even when mm -hmm. she comes up against a problem. Um, she, uh, she might get frustrated, but she's never deterred. She always, even if it means, like, she has to take, like, a walkabout in the ship, as small as our ship is. Mm -hmm. um, uh, which I've probably seen about a million times. Like, there's this look that comes across her face, you know, of, like, determination. Like, determined, like, I'm gonna fucking figure this problem out. Mm -hmm. um, and I always find that very captivating about some of them. Uh, the next question is what makes her beautiful? I'll answer it first. Um, I think what makes Simone beautiful to me is she has a great laugh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
even in the face of um, difficulty, um, she'll manage to laugh her way through it. Mm -hmm. Um, And I can't help but sort of like always smile when that happens. It's like an an infectious thing. That's cute. Um, As opposed to the real Sam's laugh, which sounds like a herd of geese. Oh my god, no. (laughs) Your laugh is fantastic. (laughs) Um... And let's see, what makes Captain Oliver beautiful? Fantastic biceps. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that's... I mean, fair, you know? Yeah, you're right. You know, you know what? You know what? Sometimes it's not that deep. Mm-mm. Sometimes it's not that deep. <laughs> Sometimes it's physical. That's okay. <laughs> um, and what do you fear in her? Um... I fear what she would do to keep us alive um, if it came down to it. Like, who she would hurt and how. Do you accept that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's, like, great biceps, um, very resolute, maybe a little bit too resolute uh, when we're in danger. Takes risks. Kind of fucking scary. (laughs) I like it. I like that characterization. I'm into it. Um, I think what I fear in Simone is that she'll be two heads down into her work mm-hmm. um, and not be able to see kind of anything outside of that, which might make it difficult for me to include myself or involve myself in her life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Married to the machine. Yeah. Um, okay, next one is the brush phase. Uh, so in this one, we will thrill each other with our touch. Uh, we'll make our feelings clear through casual, deniable contact. Uh, and there's some other sort of mechanical elements uh, that we'll cover as we play. So uh, at this part of the game, dice actually get involved, hence why we have our 10 D6s. Um, so what you're going to do in this part is there's three attributes. Uh, posture, touch, and trace. Mm. Posture is how you hold yourself. Uh, touch is how you make your move or, I'm sorry how you move when you make an advance on the other person okay. um, and the trace attribute is uh, kind of your effect on the other person I guess mm-hmm. um, I'm trying to sum these things up based on the descriptions in the, so in the, the things you can't ignore about you the book says Yeah. Uh, so you're going to divide you're going to basically create dice pools Mm. Uh, amongst these these attributes. And once you've done that, then you roll each attribute, and then we'll go down through the um, the order of play. All right. Okay. Well, it's not possible to do this evenly because you have ten dice. Mm-hmm. So I um I'm gonna put five in trace. Wow. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Two in touch and three in posture. Well, I keep fucking playing these really pent up people. Jesus. It says nothing about me whatsoever. No, um, no, 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 no. No, not. This game reflects nothing about the people that play it. Um, <laughs> um, okay, great. So we'll go through uh, posture, which is how you co- how you hold yourself. The cool that keeps your partner uncertain. Uh, the dance you are just learning in this interaction. Um, so the highest of your posture dice is your resistance. Um, which I rolled pretty fucking good, so I'm just a goddamn mess over here. Uh, so you'll want, you'll want to isolate out that highest dice. Uh, and then, uh, based on what you roll, how, how do you hold yourself? What's your posture? Okay. Let's just, like, talk through that, I guess. Okay. Um, okay, so I rolled... I actually rolled those dice, and my highest one was a six. Wait, are we rolling now? Uh, y- yeah, if... You you could have pre-rolled them if you wanted to, after you assign... After you assign the dice pools, or you can roll them now. It's up to you. Okay, alright. Cool. Alright, I've, I've done... I've done the rolling. Okay. So yeah, how how does how does what does Simone look like? like um, based on what you rolled for your posture. 
Like how they carry themselves. Uh, she's short and wiry. Um, and always wearing coveralls. So you like really can't tell what shape she is, honestly. <laughs> coverall shape. <laughs> coverall shape, yeah, yeah. And not like sexy coveralls, like Dickie's coveralls. Uh -huh. um, like definitely big janitor vibes. <laughs> um, Hottest janitor I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Um, scraggly hair, piercing eyes. Very smooth, though, apparently. I love it. Uh, I think that um, I am... Uh, well, 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 okay, right, I forgot. I always forget this part. Uh, so the, adge the adjectives we picked will uh, inform the way that we are in this particular phase of the game. Uh, so the adjective I picked was determined. Um, <laughs> does she blink? Um, and uh, I rolled a six as well for posture. So I think I have, <laughs> I think that I've come in here to follow up on like some engine issue, um, but maybe one that you've already fixed or like gave me an update on, and I'm uh -huh. just using this as an excuse to come in here and talk to you, especially because I know you're in here alone, because mm -hmm. um, no one else really comes in here. Yep. Nobody, nobody wants, to, like, it's not because like it's unpleasant, but because like, I, I expect them to work when they're in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I th I think I've, I come in there, um, and I have, like, my hands on my hips. Um, and I think I'm tall. Tall and and just, like, like fit what you would expect, kind of, from a captain that's not afraid to sort of throw themselves into risky situations and take care mm -hmm. of their crew. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh... <laughs> and, um... Yeah, and I... Yeah, uh, okay, so the highest of your posture dice is resistance. So that's that's something to remember. We're both we're both shitheads, so it's six for both of us. Uh, so for the touch, um, as you make your advance, describe how you move. Describe a feeling spreads lightning through your heart. Describe how it could be unremarkable or seen as accidental. Um, so we would have to, for that particular dice pool, have rolled uh, equal to or higher um, than the one from the first dice pool. So for both of us, we would have had to have rolled a six or higher in order okay. for I, any of either of us to have gotten thrill. I did not do that. Did you roll a six or higher? Well, or did you roll four. a six? Okay. So uh, neither of us are going to be thrilled by our touch, but what does that look like? Like, um, uh, I think that I'm, like, reaching inside of a machine's guts. <laughs> Um, and, like, <laughs> I grab your hand and put it in there. And, you know, because, um, you know, I, and of course, like, our fingers lace through each other's. Because that's definitely what you need to do to show somebody what's wrong with the thing. Yeah, so, I mean, I mean, when you're reaching to, into guts, yeah, you gotta lace the fingers. Um, hold on, let me try that again. <laughs> That's what I do, and then you know, for an amount of time, I, I hold you there explaining the problem. I don't know, maybe it's like a faulty gear or something. Gears? I don't know anything about machines. Fuck machines. Um, those, yeah. are, those are the only kind of machines I think about. I can't read suddenly. I don't know. Um, what was I gonna say? So yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, for a, a deniable amount of time, I I hold you there, and then I should go. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, um, I don't, uh, I don't think I pull back from that. And I think that the sort of, it's, it's not, like, the balance isn't great in doing that. Like, mm -hmm. you've, you've reached across and pulled my, my furthest hand into the machine. Mm -hmm. So I have to basically brace myself on something to maintain my balance. And so I think I put that, my, put my other hand on your shoulder. Uh, and again, that's in a, in a way that's super deniable. Like, oh, I didn't want to fall, fall. into your death machine. Yeah. <laughs> also, what I call my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Sign me up. Take my head off. Um, <laughs> uh, great. I love it. So, but neither of us give a shit about it because we're <laughs> some... totally deniable. Oh, just, just you know, a professional touching each other. Yeah. Yeah. Over a machine. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, Trace. Uh, it's this is the the last and third uh, uh, attribute. Um, mm -hmm. It's a warmth, a tingle, a shiver you impart on her. The truth behind the casual touch. The thing she can't ignore. So, what is the highest dice you have in that pool? Um, a three. Okay. You will remove three of your dice in total. From play. Wait, do we... Is it? Is it each other's? Yes, so you are going to... Also three? Oh, no, sorry. I, okay, I will roll. Oh, sorry. Blah, got it backwards. I will remove three from mine. Uh, the highest I rolled is a four, so you'll remove four from yours. Cool. So, cool. five, three. Okay, so this just, like, we, as we lose dice, it just gets gayer and gayer. Yes, 100%. Okay. All last, right. Wow, this is cool. Last Thanks. time I, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, last time I played this, uh, at the, at the last round, I had no dice, and the other person had dice. So it was, like, yeah. it was, like, it was, it was so, it was so interesting because, Oh, move on. You screwed up. Um, not quite. No, did I screw something up? Oh, what's happening? What happened? Thank, thank goodness Quinn is in chat to help us. I was gonna say I was. I was like, I thought that was thought that was right. Did we do this wrong? What's going on? Quinn, help! <laughs> Wait, we're waiting. <laughs> And <laughs> when the creator um, speaks, you stop. Yes, but we hit, we hit, yeah. we hit the brakes. No, this is not actually the first time I've had like the creator of a game in chat. So like, this is not making me nervous. No, uh, I, yeah, it doesn't make me nervous either. It, it's, it's, I, I think it's great. I love it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Like, people like bust their nuts about the forge, but like. Do the Forge people get people in their Twitch chats explaining the games that they wrote to them? No, no. We are like gods. Um, I I don't know anything about the Forge, other than what I see on Twitter, which doesn't seem to be super great. Fuck them. Um, <laughs> anyway, in the absence of a response, let's just forge ahead homosexually. <laughs> Yeah, if if we can always change it next round. There are three rounds yeah, in the brush whatever. phase. Each round you reduce that. But okay, yeah, that's 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 what we're doing, Quinn. The breath phase. Um. Okay, great. So we're doing it right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, breath phase. Breathe her in. Breathe in every memory you have of her that is stuck in your heart like a harpoon. Whole least dice you can have. Oh, the least dice you can have are four. Oh, I see. Okay. Wait, what? We're gonna keep going, Quinn, and then we'll just we'll change it up. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. For the next time. Okay, so we so we were right. What you're saying is that we were right. Yeah, but we you can't have any less than four. Okay, that's that's okay. that's good to know. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, hold uh, hold in the breath. In this moment, you see her in a new context. Then breathe out those memories into the air around you. We will take turns. We'll present our partner with a memory we are having, uh, and tell uh, each other how it. How, uh, how, uh, it changed us. Mm-hmm. Oh! Okay, so you do this three times in a row. I didn't realize. I thought, oh, this is, okay. Well, last person I played this with said that. They were right. I was wrong. Um, move from the blush to the brushes, which is made for three rounds. Okay. Well. Um, okay. We're gonna keep rolling dice, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so, uh, okay, so assign out your, your, uh, your things All right. to your All pools right. and stuff. Okay, and I am rolling everything now. All right, I've rolled, I've rolled. Thank you, Quinn. Thank yeah, you thank for you. for setting us right. I feel like, I don't know, are, were you thinking of something like downfall or follow where you just, like, keep going in cycles? Yeah. 
yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's how I played it last night. And the, and the person I played it last night was like, no, I think we do this three times around. I was like, no! <laughs> I can't be. Yeah. You go in cycles. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. Okay, um, so my resistance to uh, your sensuosity is now a three. Oh, same. Wow. Same mm -hmm. hat. Yeah, same hat. Great hat. <laughs> uh, I, th I think my posture in this moment is... Um, is I, I'm not sitting there with like my hands on my hips anymore, and I'm sitting a lot closer. Like I don't mm -hmm. think I don't think I stepped away when you let go of my hands, and I didn't have to brace myself against you anymore. I think I'm mm -hmm. sitting like right behind you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I am very, very. I don't know. I have a, an improbably large wrench. Um, <laughs> yep. It's a matter. Um, and I am, I'm working at something while talking very, very fast to you about, um, how, listen, listen, I know you keep telling me that the capacitors, the price for the capacitors is ridiculous, but if we do not replace them this season after this job, I swear to God, Captain, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. That's what's going to happen. No, 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 Simone, you're not going to quit. It's going to be fine. It's not going to be fine. It's not going to be fine. And I think I put my hand on your shoulder. And we'll move to the touch phase. <laughs> okay. Um. Don't tell me what I'm gonna do. Uh. <laughs> uh, I, uh, well, oh, your resistance is a three, right? No, my. Re uh, yeah, my. But I rolled um. A six. Wait, for each touch dice that is equal or higher than her resistance. Did you keep track of the, tr the throw from the first round? No, I didn't. Oh, because we're supposed to assign, like, the resolve token. I messed this up the first playthrough, too. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, rules are fake. <laughs> as, uh, Sorry. Dead, Sorry, as Glenn. I always say. <laughs> as, as the saying goes. Rules are fake and God is dead. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to keep track of the resolve token, then. Cool. Yeah, no, I guess I have. I, have um, I don't think any of us got thrill last game. Uh, right, last because, last round because we both rolled a six. Yes. Yes. Right. So it's nobody was token. nobody was porn up because of Okay. Okay. So I the only roll die I rolled higher than your resistance was um, my six. Um. Okay. Here. Um, oh, whoever has the least thrill takes a resolve token. If there is a tie, no one takes it. Okay, so we did that right. Okay. Because, yeah, it was a tie last time. Um, nobody did, you, took... did you get any thrill? Do you have any of your... Are any of your touch dice higher than my three? Uh, yeah, I rolled one six. Okay, cool and good. All right, so we're tied. Um, so we don't get it... None of us get a resolve token then. Okay, okay so describe how you move. Describe what feeling spreads lightning through your heart. I'm threatening to quit on you in this moment. <laughs> uh, uh, I think that my hand on your shoulder is... It's not just like the like a gentle like pat and that quickly moves off. It's uh -huh. it's the weight is heavier. Like uh -huh. I don't, like I don't intend to move it. Mm -hmm. And and maybe it's it's less like here and more like here. Oh, so like yeah. Um and I haven't moved back. I'm still close to you. So still very much in, you know. It's not like one of these numbers, you know, like stretched out pat 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 sort of situation. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think, and I think, uh, just the proximity and the fact that I'm not lifting my hand uh, back away, um, that it's not a quick gesture that I'm letting it sit there, mm -hmm. um, it's like, I was gonna say, bump up, bump up, yep. bump up. Yep. But, uh, I think, I think if you seem to, um... If you seem uncomfortable anyway, I would immediately remove it. Mm, of course, of course, of course, of course. I am not uncomfortable, of course. I am angry. <laughs> and describe how it could be seen as remarkable or, um, or sorry, describe how it could be unremarkable or seen as accidental. I think just in the context of the conversation where it's, it's, I'm, I'm past, trying to pass it off as this reassuring pat. Mm -hmm. of like, when actually. It's just an excuse to touch you. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um. Uh, what did what did you roll? What was uh, the highest of yours? Of my, my highest die was also a six. Okay. 
or yeah. my my only die that was higher than yours was a six. Um, yeah, yeah. And let's see, what do I do in response? I like grab your hand and remove it from my shoulder just because you know this was your fault this whole situation is your fault um and like i hold it between us um and i'm thinking very what feeling spreads lightning through my heart i'm thinking about your enormous biceps right now yeah which are like um, right in your face yeah oh yeah no <laughs> like we're we're in my domain but wow <laughs> Wow, those guns. Those guns. And like and I and I wear like a somewhere styled shirt, you know, but it's like it's fitted. Uh huh. So it accentuates it all very nicely. My Gross. my good arms. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is gay. <laughs> this is gay. Hey. Hey Chad. This is fucking gay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Move. I'm gay. <laughs> On a spaceship, being gay has its advantages. A gay ship. Love it. Uh, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, yes, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> and how could this be seen as unremarkable or accidental? You know what? It is unremarkable because I am super duper, super duper, I am super duper angry, but also horny. Um, <laughs> I'm angry and I'm removing your hand from my baudet. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a remarkable thing that I'm doing right now. Um, I'm just, you know, just holding your wrist. Does does your oh okay so you but you're like holding on though, you mm-hmm. know, okay. yeah I'm not letting go okay, all right uh, uh, trace okay a, uh, a warmth a tingle a shiver you impart on her the truth behind the casual touch um yeah I think I think um I think that this is the first time maybe that I have seen you be this like you're 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 always you've always like been the kind of person that's like this is what I want this is what I want it's how I want it and that's one of the things I really respect about you mm-hmm. um and uh um but I've never seen you be this yes. low yeah, but also, like, this level of assertive where you're actually mm-hmm. being physical with me. Mm-hmm. You started it. <laughs> and I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> Super into it. And it, like, like a shiver was, like, up my spine because your grip around my wrist is firm. Um, and, you know, when you're the captain, it's nice to have someone else be captain of the ship every once in a while. Oh, my God. Is Oliver a bottom? <laughs> picturing Oliver, like, unless Oliver's, like, punching somebody in the face, I I don't think, oh, Captain, my Captain is a very physical person. And, like, maybe this is the first time you you have ever, or, like, today is the first time you have ever touched me um, in a way that was not accidental or, holy shit, you just got gut shot and I need to hold your intestines in. (laughs) So that is the thing I can't... Oh, shit! Oh, shit, my captain's touching me. She's t- touch. I'm being touched. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm about this. I'm gonna quit, but I'm about this. Uh, maybe I can smash that before I go. 
Um, yeah, smash those cuts. Plus capacitors. Smash uh, those cuts. <laughs> Him. <Yeah. laughs> so anyway, uh, reduce your ability dice by an amount equal to the highest of your trace dice. Mine was two. Mine is a six. Okay, so I can't drop below four. Correct. Um, right, so I am down to four dice left. Oh, my word. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. We're, so, wait, we're supposed to do... <laughs> we're supposed to do the brush phase three times in a row based on the adjective we picked. Yeah, so I'm tense and you're determined. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I, have to, I keep forgetting that. Yep. yep, yep. <laughs> oh, um, my so, God. Wait, so, so, let's see. Whereas the least thrill takes result, if there's a time nobody takes it, then nobody's taking result. Correct. Uh, all right. So, but we have one more. We have one more round to go. Um, you wanna do posture? Let's do posture touch and trace. Okay. Okay. Oh damn. Okay. Not great. Uh, mine were okay. Um. <laughs> My highest posture dice right now is four. How about you? Six. Wow. Rude? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, not good. I didn't roll good. That's, well, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I want to roll low. <laughs> uh, okay. Quinn's like, let it change. I'm going to fucking change my adjective to uh, 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 nervous. Oh, um... If um, no, I'm gonna stay tense. Yeah. I'm gonna stay tense. I'm enjoying tense. The tension. Actually, well, um... Maybe... Uh, yeah. Nervous. Nervous. I'll stay for nervous. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, how... Oh, that's, thanks, thanks, Shami Quinn. Um... Oh, I didn't know that. Fuck. Okay. Um, okay. Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay, so posture. You want to go first on this one this time? Okay. Um, let's see. How you hold yourself. Um, I withdraw, and I start walking away down, you know, a row of machinery. The cool that keeps her uncertain. Um, and I take my improbably large wrench and <laughs> set it down very firmly. Um and start, like, fiddling with some dials. Yeah, not, not the dials I want you to fiddle with. Um, I don't get it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do get it. I get it. I figured. Um, okay. M yeah, mine's six. God damn it. Um, yeah, th they're, they're, yeah, th those are there are dials there for sure. Um, <laughs> Mine goes up to 11. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I'm nervous because my heart is racing and um, uh, I like what's happening here and I don't know how to make the next move. Mm -hmm. And then you walk away. Um, I don't think I... Well, no. I want to keep it fun. Uh, I, I do close the distance, but I stay, like, five feet behind you as you're fucking around with shit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, I've got important work to do, and you are bothering me. Yes. So is this, have, we, have we gone into touch? Yes. As you make your advance, describe how you move. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I say, do you do you need anything else? What what um uh, what did you roll for your what, what was uh, your highest? It's a three. My highest was a three. What was your resistance again? I forgot. Four. And the highest you rolled for your touch was a three. Yes. Oh my god, the highest I rolled for mine is a two. Jesus, what a mess. Um. Uh, I think okay, I. Okay, so so you take a thrill. 
Wait. She takes thrill for each touch dice that is equal to... No, that we have to roll higher. Wait. That is equal to or higher than her resistance? Like, okay, so like, I don't like take e any thrill. Like each other's are, are higher than no, our own. our own, our own, our own, our own. Oh. Okay. Well, neither do I then. Man, we're just... Wow, this is... Jesus. Got to... Anyways. Um... <laughs> Uh, uh, um, I, uh, I think, I think at this point I'm uncharacteristically, um, uncharacteristically visibly nervous. Okay. Um, I'm doing, well, like, you know, I'm almost kind of wringing my hands, but trying to keep it subtle. Like, one of those things where, like, like, I'm, like, cracking my knuckles and, uh, trying to keep it, um, um, trying to keep it, uh, um, trying try to still seem cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that, uh, um, I take a step forward and go to put my hand on your shoulder again. Again. <laughs> as I like leaning over what you're looking at. Um, I'm picturing like a substantial height difference here because there there has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's legally required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um and uh uh and I think there's like even like a little bit of like a tremble in my voice because of because like the nerves at this point are getting to me. Mm -hmm. Cuz I feel like this is like it. I either have to make my move now or that's it. Like there's no this may lose her. Uh-huh. Um um and uh uh, I think I think I say maybe like quietly under my breath. Um, oh, what the fuck do I say? <laughs> uh, something like I think I think what I say is I'm not ready to leave yet. Since when have I ever cared about your opinion? And I think I, 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 I sigh and say, hand me, hand me the sonic hammer. <laughs> I hand you the sonic hammer. <laughs> and you know, our, there's like some significant finger brushing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah I accidentally turn on. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> That's not the sonic camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I, I, uh, I was already there. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the words came out of your mouth, I was like... <laughs> I was not actually making a vibrator joke to start with, but now it, it's it's evolved. I mean... Uh -huh. I immediately took it there because that's that's the way my brain works. So, <laughs> yeah, the, the other the other Sonic Hammer, the nine twelves. Yeah, I think I hand you the eleven thirteenths, whatever, because I'm a fucking mess. Nine sixteenths, <laughs> nine sixteenths, please. Uh, 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 sorry. Here. That's that's the seven eighths. Um, do you just want to get it? Yeah, actually. Uh, <laughs> I feel like this this goes on for a while. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm... The feeling that spreads like lightning through my chest is affection. Like, oh my god, she would die without me. <laughs> oh my god, she doesn't know a 7 16th from a 9 16th. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, so yeah, that's... And of course, you know, all this hand brushing is, um... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 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 Um. All right. Yeah. Also, Quinn just said in chat that it's your resistance against my touch. So that's how I've been thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what happened this round. That we we did it right. Okay. Um. <clears throat> wait. So you take it, right? No. I rolled really high for my posture. Okay. So I take thrill. No, I rolled really low for my touch. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your touch again? It was like a one or something. It was really bad. Or like a three. I don't remember. It was just really low. It wasn't it wasn't higher than your resistance, I know that. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh my god, I'm so lost. If this was an actual play, this was the, like the whole last part that we get cut out, huh? <laughs> no, it was fine. We're, we're doing okay, fine. You know what? I'm just going to trust fall into your arms and say nobody fucking takes thrill. Um, I think that seems right. And and I'm I'm here for the trust fall experience. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Uh, a war trace, a warmth, a tingle, a shiver you impart on her. The truth behind the casual touch, the thing she can't ignore. Um, Hmm. Um. I don't know, um, I hate to play a character for you, but I think the thing, perhaps you realize at some point that, like, I'm kind of messing with you, with the, with the sonic hammers. Mm -hmm. Um. Does that make sense? Like, mm -hmm. the moment has gone from, I'm going to fucking quit if you don't get me my flux capacitors, to, um, like, me goofing around with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I don't know. What, what are you, what are you imparting on me? Um... <clears throat> I think when I hand you the various tools, uh, I have this very sympathetic expression on my, f like, like one that in engenders sympathy, um, because I just look probably for like one of the, maybe like in our previous experiences, we've over drinks or something when our guard is let down, we're not working in our very clearly defined roles on the ship, you know, you can, you know, you've been able to see past sort of the captain side. And I think this is like reminiscent or ref kind of reflects back on those experiences where I just look completely lost and like, I don't know where it's, what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I always try to look like I know what's going on. Um, out of a sense of responsibility and duty. And in this case, I'm completely out of my element. I think that's just very clear on my face, and, and my tone starts to change in the way that I, I'm asking, like, there's this level of, like, self-consciousness that's coming forth, like, is it, well, wait, what, what, what does it look like? It's, it's a Phillips head? No. Uh, say that no again? No one's used a Phillips head anything in 400 years. What dramas are you watching? Uh, I, I, I don't watch dramas, first of all. She totally does. I Sounds don't... fake, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's I think it's like that. And then, but whenever she hands you a tool, or a tool, uh, she makes eye contact with you every single time, mm -hmm. um, and always asks with this like look of, of this very sincere look of approval, of like, is this is this is this is this the right one? I oh my god, this this incalculable bottom energy. <laughs> I did not set out to make a bottom. I never make bottoms, so but here we are. <laughs> just, just staggering. I, 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 I love this character now, and I want to play them in a role-playing game. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> there are a lot of role-playing games. Uh, yeah. What was I gonna say? Uh, okay. Alright. So... So we didn't remember to track resolve for the first round. No, we we we, huh? we did. We, no, no one got no one got resolve for the first round. <clears throat> okay. Not no, no thing anywhere. No, no one has gotten resolve at all, basically. Hearing closes. You know what? We will fuck that bridge when we come to it. Let's just move on to the breath base. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, uh, okay, we've done three. Uh, the what was that? It's, uh, brush. Now we move on to the breath phase. Breathe her in. Breathe in every memory you have of her. Oh, we already read through all this. Uh, so this is when we just basically talk about memories we have of each other, um, and how that changed kind of the way that we viewed or regarded each other, and the way that that happens in romantic contexts. Um, so we'll take turns. We'll present each other with that with a memory that we're having, uh, and how it changed us. Um, okay. Uh, so there is an inhale and an exhale part of this. 
Okay. Um, which I totally screwed up the last time that I played this. Did not do any of this. <laughs> so, well, that's why you play games before you play them on stream. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm really glad that happened. Um, <laughs> uh, so, inhale. Show her a memory you shared. Tell her the story. Describe where you are and what is happening. And then answer the following three questions, which is, how is this moment commonplace? How is this moment extraordinary? And what stood between the two of you then? Mm -hmm. So, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? Um, I don't have a preference. I guess just whoever has an idea first can jump on it. I do have an idea, but I always have an idea. Go so for it then. You're feeling something <clears throat> by all means. It usually takes me a hot minute, so go for it. Okay. All right. Um, I think that the memory I share is of our first meeting, and okay. Can I, let me pitch this to you. Our first meeting was when you bought out my indenture contract to mm. like some really bad dudes. And then we got when we got back to the ship, you just like shredded it up in front of me and said, um, fuck these assholes. Fuck these assholes, you're free. You're a free woman. Mm -hmm. Do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Work on my ship or don't. Yeah. Um and I think that we were we were standing in my bunk, which is the only time you've been to my bunk, I have like a private, I feel like it's big enough that we all have like private births, no matter how small they are, which mm -hmm. is nothing, something I've never had before. Um, and you've got an actual physical piece of paper. I think you've like printed it out for the moment, like on the ship's printer. <laughs> yeah. uh, like the ship's printer. So, you know, we cut back to like you trying to like get the ship's printer to actually work. What? Uh, I'm picturing like this, this like really shitty future dot matrix printer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Yeah. So you you hold up in front of me, and I don't know. I just sort of I'm like sort of like, cringing. Like I'm trying to keep a straight face, but I'm, like you can see that like something in me is beaten, mm -hmm. um, and a little broken. And then you just rip it up and says you say you're a free woman. Mm -hmm. Um, go where you want. We'll drop you off wherever you want. Work for me or don't. Mm -hmm. Sleep for sleep for six years in this bunk. I don't care. Mm -hmm. um, so how is this moment commonplace? Um, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, it's not really a common moment. It's not, um, not frequently you buy someone someone's indentured contract out for fuck's sake, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Um. Okay, so. If I twist the question a little bit, like, I come to realize that this is actually, like, a pretty commonplace thing. Not like buying somebody's in, somebody's best engineer out from underneath them just to free them from their quasi-slavery, but, like, little acts of kindness um, wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Like, I, 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 as I get to know you better, as I decide right. to stay on, I realize, actually, you know what? You're an okay person. <laughs> um, how is this moment extraordinary? Because you fucking set me free. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. No one's, like, done... I feel like no one had ever done anything for me in general. Um, let alone something that big. Um, yeah. Yeah. And what stood between the two of you then? I think I was fucking scared shitless of you, honestly. Like, even more than, like, my low level, oh my god, if we get into a bad situation, there's no telling what she'll do fear. Mm -hmm. Um, I think. Right. That, like, I was actively frightened of you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's Because, like, who, you still, yeah, you shredded a physical copy, but you still have a copy of my indenture, so, like, right. that's legally enforceable, and I'm frightened. Um, yeah, like, when are you going to throw it in my face? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, how about you? Your turn. Um, I was just enjoying that. I wasn't thinking about <laughs> memory at all. Um... I think this is one of those moments where we were sharing a drink. Wait, what? Uh, uh, inhale is first in the in the play document, Quinn. And inhale is listed first. Um. Okay, I see. I see above. It says after each of you has had a chance to exhale. Well, rules are fake. Um. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. 
Oh, you inhale and then she exhales. Okay, all right. Um, oh, okay. So then I, okay. so then I, do the exhale part then now. Okay, I understand. I understand. There's a lot of hers. Yeah. 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 If if it said like your partner or something, that might be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Differentiate between the players. Cool. Um, all right. So, <clears throat> so I tell you how this memory changed my feeling towards you. Um. Um, uh, I think that I thought it was complete and utter bullshit that people still do fucking indentured servitude, um, mm -hmm. and that that was absolutely barbaric. So, um, uh, obviously I had to do what I could about that, um, but more so it was the look on your face when I tore up the paper. Mm -hmm. I could tell I could see that there was still some fear there mm -hmm. um, and that that uh, that hurt a little bit because I didn't want you to be afraid but I got it as well Like I, it made sense um, uh, and I felt I think in that moment a sense of obligation to to you so that you wouldn't feel afraid? Mm -hmm. Wow, gay! <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this sort of, like, protective feeling, or, or whatever, immediately washed washed over me. And I was like, oh, no, I, uh, yeah, I can't. She can never feel afraid. Yeah, and I have to do whatever I can to make sure that never happens. Wow, gay! <laughs> oh, no! This is, hey, hey! Hey, chat. This is a gay-ass game. <laughs> this is a real fucking gay game. Hey, Rachel. My roommate's right outside there. Rachel, this is a really gay game. <laughs> Can you imagine playing this with our um, Good Society characters? Oh, yeah, it's gay. Oh, yeah, it's real fucking gay. <laughs> just popped her head. I don't know if you can hear it, but she said, a word? <laughs> it, it, it's super fucking gay. Oh, my God. I just heard the door shut. <laughs> uh, I just could hear the door shut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, yeah. So it was electric because um, I think before then I hadn't. I, I think that general, like personality, like just general personality wise, I always have that sort of sense of obligation to take care of people, protect them, and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But um, uh, this this was different because that that feeling is is just generally how I am. But in this case, it felt personal. It felt very personal to you, mm -hmm. uh, and that was like that some sort of spark immediately clicked into place. Um, to answer the first question of how was it electric, uh, and what made it stick with me. Um, was uh, was um was uh, uh um was that it was just you i guess i i think when you first meet someone and sometimes there's that sort of like magnetic draw to them i don't know Killing me, Jesus! I know it's, it's almost effortless. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good God. <laughs> ah. uh, <laughs> yeah, I think there was this magnetic thing, and I, and and probably in the beginning it was <laughs> probably in the beginning it was related to. Oh my God! I can't look at chat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think in the beginning it might have been spurred on by the situation. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but there was just this, uh, I don't know. It was just something, something about you in the moment that, that I was like, I have to 
this person I can't let this person ever hurt again. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh why why has it found you here in this breath? I I think because I think because I'm so desperate to please you in this moment. Um <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and I don't want to leave uh, and I recognize that me being here is, is an inconvenience because it's I'm getting in the way um, yeah. but uh, I don't I don't want to leave because I like being around you mm-hmm. and um, and with the business on the ship <laughs> The business on the ship, you know, there's not all of those opportunities. So, um, uh, um, God, I can't get you. Because <laughs> I want to start responding, but I can't do it. <laughs> focus up, focus up, focus, focus up. Focus. Stop looking at the chat. I'm Look not, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not looking at chat. I'm looking at your face here on my monitor, even though my webcam is up there. Um, um, yeah, and, uh, and I think it's also such a role reversal in this moment of where you're clearly like the one in charge here because this is your space and you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was a lot. I just went through there, but anyways. yeah. Well, listen, it's gay. <laughs> it's gay, so it's always a lot. Yes. Um, All okay. right. Okay, so then I do inhale. All right. Right. Can you give me that chance to exhale? But I've turned to the blush phase and face. I don't understand. I'm so confused. Um, inhale. <laughs> okay, I'm inhaling. Um, okay, so, uh, uh, okay, so I'll, I'll go back to the memory I, I was thinking about before, which is, I think this is the moment where we're sharing drinks. Mm-hmm. Maybe we've got, maybe we, we just had uh, a really good haul or something. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and we're celebrating. The whole crew is celebrating. And um, uh, we're we're on some planet some somewhere, mm-hmm. spending sort of the 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 big payout that we just got. Um, and it's this like kind of grungy, low lit divey type of place mm-hmm. but they're trying to like keep it upscale so there's like velvet curtains and small tables and dark corners but the velvet on the curtains is worn from from you know the amount of so like Moulin Rouge and... K- kind of just way dirtier yeah and in space yeah and in space well um, like not in space but in space yeah yeah uh, yeah. yeah in future space um uh, and I think there's this table. <laughs> I think I think we're sitting at. I think I think we've all just sort of been like shooting the shit with the whole crew, and I join you at just a table for two in some dark corner. Um, and we're you know we're in our cups and um, totally smizzed. Yeah, and uh, and I think I think this is the loosest I've probably been around you. Like I am like leaning halfway on the table towards you. Anytime you talk, I'm just, like, gazing at you like this, head in my hand sort of situation. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and I'm just asking you questions, a million questions about yourself mm-hmm. that maybe I haven't asked before. And when you tell stories, I ask questions about the stories, you know, oh, why did that person do that? And what was that like? And, and that's really weird. Why do they do that? And what does that taste like? And... Would you ever do that again? And did you like that? Mm-hmm. What was what was their name? Did you still talk to them? Uh, just a million, just a million questions, uh, but not in a weird like in, in interrogation sort of way, but in like a I active I'm actively listening and enjoying hearing you talk about yourself. Yeah, and I've got a lot to say. Mm-hmm. I have a lot to say. I mm-hmm. never shut the fuck up. <laughs> when I'm drunk, <laughs> I, I love it. I love every moment of it. Um, I think the way that this moment is commonplace is, um, is, uh, 
is that, yeah, I, I recognize that you don't have any issue kind of carrying a conversation. Mm. And uh, I really like that because as captain of the ship, I'm used to, again, having to be the one in charge. Um, and so it's just nice to have somebody else take the lead. And I just think you're super interesting and engaging. And I, you know, like hearing you talk about yourself. And so in this moment, I actually get to, you know, listen and, and actually, you know, you, you have the space now to actually talk versus trying to share offhanded comments or really brief stories in the middle of a crowd. I don't think she's ever been like particularly forthcoming about, mm -hmm. you know, her life pre- I don't know, Windfucker, where the ship's name is. <laughs> Vacuum fucker. <laughs> There's winds in space. It could be fucking the space one. No, I'm kidding. It's fucking the solar winds. <laughs> solar wind fucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, yeah. The, the, yeah, in this moment, just more forth forthcoming than usual. Uh, I think it's extraordinary because we're both drunk together in maybe a way that we haven't been. Um... And that, and that, um, uh, and that, um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not doing really any talking at all. And I'm mm -hmm. used to doing the sort of more, like, I'm, you, I'm used to being the one that leads a moment or a situation. And I'm not at all. I'm just asking you questions. Yeah. Yeah, this is unusual. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What stood between the two of you then? Um, I think because I am acutely aware of the difference in what it, what is what is there's a way you, there's like a phrase uh, there's like a power differential. Yeah, power imbalance. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Um. Uh. There is um. There's a difference there, and I don't want to pressure you or make you feel uncomfortable with that mm -hmm. um so i feel like i can't i can't push any more than i am um other than just ask you questions and let you talk and just enjoy listening to you talk but i feel like i can't really go anywhere beyond that because i'm the captain of the ship that you work on and i lead on all the contracts and i make sure everyone's fairly paid but mm -hmm. i don't want you to think that your paycheck is contingent on how much I favor you, basically. Um, so, yeah. So I'm also trying to be involved, but also trying to keep my distance. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Do I exhale now? You do. All right. So tell her how this memory changed your feelings toward her and answer these questions. How was it electric? Um... I think it was electric, first of all, because, like, she's a horny drunk. Um, and definitely would have smashed if she thought you were even remotely <laughs> interested. But, like, it's not. It's, um... And, like, on top of that, like, it's so rare that anybody has ever asked her questions about herself in her life. Um, especially not because... Especially not from you, because you're the captain and have been trying to keep an appropriate distance like I feel like there's at least one crew member who asks slightly invasive questions about her adventure <laughs> um and she doesn't like it but she doesn't mind this and she doesn't mind this at all she's finding apparently there is a way to ask questions about somebody's life of adventure that does not end up fucked up and it's nice it's just nice to talk to you you're a nice person to talk to what made it stick with me um I think it was the first time we've we'd had a substantial conversation about things that were not ship related and like we're just fucking diving in to Simone's entire life. Um and why has it found me here in this breath? Because like we're ha she's having fun with you right now, which is not something she could have pictured doing when she was cowering in her bunk with a torn up contract at her feet. Like, she was mad at you and now she's she's messing around with you about, I don't know, sonic hammers and 
dildo joke. Just pretend I made a dildo joke. <laughs> uh, I don't have one. I don't want to have one on Decky. So just just make one in your head, and it'll be probably funnier than anything I can come up with. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so oh, yeah. Always have your vibe jokes on deck. Yes, <clears throat> when you can. Yes, good vibes. Good vibes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. All right. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so th this is this part is unclear to me uh, because. It says, uh, it says, after you, after each of you has had a chance to exhale, return to the blush phase and begin again. Which is the first phase? Okay, um, do, do, if the creator wasn't here, I would assume that, um, that was left over from... Wait, so we do like this, we do the whole breath phase all over again too? Like all three. So we go through all of this three times. Like so, so we we go through the whole kinkaboodle three times, and then we do the breath phase three times in the middle of each of those. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Huh. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, this is a lot of tension. Fucking hell. All right. Wow. Okay. Here I thought that we were just like gonna go straight to the kids. I did too. I was like, nope, we're done. We're good. And done. I, um, I was, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, this is gonna. All right. <laughs> well, we. Uh... How long do we have this channel for, though? I know. That's what I'm actually trying to think. <laughs> I forget. Uh, let me check my calendar real quick because I can't keep. Okay, I'm I can't keep everything straight in my head. There's so much. There's actually not a game on after us, anyways. But. Okay. All but, right. But. Um, we have the slot until four o'clock. Well, sorry, my time, obviously. So we have an hour and a half of, avail of available time. All right. Time. All right. So, um, Jesus, oh my gosh! I thought I was like, Lord have mercy, release me from this tension. But nope, okay. here we go. All right, all right. No, but we're gonna we're about to ration it up even more. Jesus, um, God. Okay. okay. So yes, yes, yes. Rules are rules. But do you want to do one more round and then the kiss, just to keep it a manageable length? Yeah, or... I think so. Okay, alright, alright. Because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be like fucking super stay by the end of the next one. Um, <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, if not, we're not already thirsty. Okay. So, Good God yeah. Almighty. Yes. Wow, I just fucking, like, if I had known that we were gonna go like three full rounds, I would have like saved the Avenger thing until the last round, but now I have to think of something else. I know, that's how I feel too. I'm like, there were some things where I was like, oh shit. I just. <laughs> I just left that out way too early. Okay, dice on the table. All right, all right. You know what? Back to the blush phase. All right. Um, okay, all right. So the blush phase is a period of electric tension. It's the moment of overwhelming nerves just before you make your move. It could be the trailing end of a pregnant pause or the moment in your conversation just before sympathetic touch is called for. Um, okay. So let's... Let's back off for a second and decide. Wait a second. Huh. Oh, did this still happen? You can also adjust the scale. So, do we want to stay in the hold, or do we want to move somewhere else? Uh. Or to another to another time in the ship. Um, <clears throat> I I'm 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 fine staying in 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 that area unless you have an idea. Then I'm I'm gravy for anything basically. So if you if you have an idea, lay it on me. Um, but if not, I'm 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 down for the captain making excuse after excuse to stay somewhere that she doesn't need to be. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's let's lean into that. Let's lean into that. Let's lean into that. Like you know, the captain is helpless. That's mm -hmm. the only Hamilton reference I'm going to make for these <laughs> six fucking months. So enjoy it. Soak it in, babies. Um, soaking. Um, so while you decide that, <clears throat> I want to issue a reminder. We are fundraising for the Trevor Project. Uh, you can donate to the, the what is it? Tiltify campaign. Uh, we actually hit our donation goal. I'm gonna keep up in these every episode of uh, Romance Games. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't donate this still this session because it all goes to a great cause. Also, if you like this game and are interested in playing it yourself. Uh, I'll be giving away a copy of it, and you can enter the giveaway by uh, entering uh, hashtag kiss, hashtag sign or pound sign, uh, and then kiss, and it enters you into the giveaway. Right now, I've only got three entries so far, so, uh, um, 
Uh, and then we've also got the creator of the game, um, Mix Quinn, who is um, in chat walking us through this and making some notes as we play this, which is super awesome. Yes, um, yes, 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 yes. All right. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This is actually the first time I've been on stream since, like, last fucking October. Um, Holla. Do you do we do we want to take a break right now, or do you just want to keep powering through? I'm good with whatever. I think I want to take five because I, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take let's take five and then go back to being shorn. <laughs> okay. <Shorty. laughs> okay. Right. We will be right back.
Hey, we're back. <laughs> Sam is growing a lovely mustache in the process. Um, okay. We're gonna fucking do the thing again. Alright. Hell yeah. So, friendly reminder, we're raising money for the Trevor Project. Uh, we have a Tiltify campaign, and any bits you donate as well during this time will go to the thing. Uh, we've already hit our goal for this episode, but the goal will increase with each episode, so please just give us your money so we can give it to the Trevor Project. Um, the Trevor Project is... What is the Trevor Project, Knox? Uh, the Trevor Project is a nonprofit that provides crisis intervention and suicide prevention services for LGBTQ uh, young people uh, 25 and younger. Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. What else was I going to say? Oh, you can also enter to win a free copy of this game that will be given away uh, after we're done playing. Uh, to enter into the giveaway, type in hashtag or pound sign kiss. Um, we currently have four entries. Um, even if you're not around at the end of the game, you'll still get entered. I'm not tracking for activity or anything like that. Um, and I'll message you uh, via Twitch and get you hooked up with that free copy. Um, 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 okay, so we're starting at the blush phase where we need to pick an adjective to represent our emotional state. Okay, all right. Um, I think that I am starting to get flustered because I'm realizing, oh my god, she just like, she's, she's not going away and leaving me in my engine hole. <laughs> god. Um, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm too gay for this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Has she taken off her jacket? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. She she took her jacket off and rolled her sleeves up to the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Did she do it on purpose? Oh yeah. She knows what's up. Oh. <laughs> How about you? How about you? Um, awkward. How so? Uh, because she doesn't want to leave and she feels like the clock is ticking down and she's just trying to find any excuse to stay. <laughs> um, so, uh, that she can... Uh, yeah. Eventually something else on the ship is going to need her attention. I'm Oliver. Um, um, Alex. I'm, oh, I'm playing Oliver and Sam's playing Simone. Simone I, is the ship engineer. Yeah. Yeah. And Alex is the... Ah, uh, shit. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Oliver is the is the captain. Yes, the, yes, yes, What yeah. is probably the soft butch captain, because that's my fucking yes. brand. And also, huge fucking bottom. <laughs> huge bottom. Just an incalculable <laughs> amount of bottom energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oops. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that happened. Oh, well. That's okay. Yeah. I'm into it. I'm into it too, clearly. Uh, <laughs> all right, so yes, awkward and flustered. Not quite having palpitations, but flustered. Okay, all right, so- Is palpitations an adjective option? <laughs> um, okay. Not yet. <laughs> Palpitating? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we'll add that, uh, custom list. Uh, answer these three <laughs> questions aloud. Uh, uh, what captivates you about her? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll kick us off here, because I think you did last time, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Um. What captivates me about her is that in this moment, actually, and I've seen this before, um, is that she, um, when she's trying to get work done and wants to get it done, um, she'll come across as very impatient, but there is some sort of patience she is exercising in the moment even if she comes across as like, oh, you're in the way, or hurry up, give me the thing, that she doesn't just outright, like, turn around and yell at you, or kick you out. Um, I, I recognize as her exercising some sort of sympathetic level of patience for the person that's currently getting on her nerves. Um, uh, tolerance, I guess, would be the, the better word. Um, and, uh, You're technically in the way, but she's not really snapping at you. <clears throat> she's pretending to be annoyed. Right. Can't tell. Seven sixteenths from nine sixteenths. Right. Hello, fucking god. Were you raised in a in a fucking luddite colony? <laughs> and so on and so forth. Yeah, I can barely operate a printer, probably. Um, 
Yeah. That's Wood for the printer. Um, okay, so my captive what 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 captivates me? You about Oh my god, I don't know how to say words. What is captivating right now? Um, is that Okay, I think I said biceps last time. No, I said biceps the second question last time. Um, mm -hmm. What makes you captivating right now is that, like, you're willing to help. Like, she's worked for people. She's been contracted to people who, like, never came into her domain at all except to scream at her when, like, the hot water goes out. So, like, <laughs> you're genuinely making an effort to help, even if you are a cretin who doesn't know a sonic hammer from a fucking... In for sound wrench. <laughs> Christ. For love, space Christ, I'm sorry. Yeah, space Jesus, whole different can of worms. Yeah. Alright. What makes me a fool? Um, I like that you have strong, capable, deft hands. <laughs> uh just the way you you know oh god just <laughs> the way <laughs> i i'm getting ready i know the words i'm getting ready to say <laughs> could not make this sound any better do it do it no balls <laughs> uh I, I i the way like when i watch you manipulate things uh <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's always with certainty and uh, assuredness, confidence that you know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> and I uh, I find that uh, extremely beautiful. <laughs> Uh, and what makes you beautiful right now? Um, you're a little sweaty, and she's into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like she's she's like dressed for this. Like that 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 those like coveralls are very like well ventilated. Um, and meant to work in sweaty conditions, but like you've got a little like sheen going on, and yeah. she's about it. I'm sorry that like. Like, mine are all, like, base and physical, and yours are, like, she's so dumb. No, 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 no. So clever with her hands. The last last time I played her this... Her air of focus. <laughs> the last time I played this, all of mine were physical-related when it came to this question. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I think she... Because, yeah, I think she wears a button-up shirt, and but, like, she's got, like, the first few... Like, like she's, like, undone a couple, mm -hmm. and so there's, like, sweat along the, like... Decollete or whatever. How do you say that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In like a good way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Um. What do I fear in Simone? <laughs> um. Uh. I fear that in this very moment, she's gonna kick me out. Oh, that that she is going to get genuinely annoyed with me, and that um, and that that annoyance is going to carry over outside of just this this moment. Oh, and it's going to be harder to come back in here and bugger, even yes. if even if like, you, know. you have to like play your cards right, or else mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. or else like yeah, you are actually going to piss her off. You're <laughs> um and what do i fear right now um i'm afraid that like you're going to take it like eventually my good-natured ribbing is going to turn it to insubordination in your eyes mm -hmm. and um Like you're you're going to be the one who's mad at me outside mm -hmm. of here. Like I, I I'm afraid because I don't know where the boundary is right now. Yeah. Between you fucking 
idiot and he's an idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. God, always always a bunch of gay idiots, I swear. <clears throat> um okay, on to the brush phase. This is when right. we use our little dice rooms. All right. Um Okay, so we start with 10 again, I guess. Yep. All right. So and then divide them up. Oh, and let's keep let's Qu- Qu- Quinn said we could choose to not put dice into any Oops. ability if we wanted yeah. to. I feel like that's advanced, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. And this time, what I did last time that I should have done this time was keep all of my dice in front of me, which is what I'm going to do now. Um, all right. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm done I, I really stacked the deck for myself. Now, now that I'm sort of, like, understanding how these abilities and stuff work... I'm like actively trying to stack the deck. <laughs> Ooh, shit. All right, all right, all right. Anything exciting? All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to go first for posture? Yeah. Um. So wait, hold on. Let's let's pull back a second. Like, what have we moved on to doing? Mm, okay. Um. If not one another. Um. <laughs> I don't know, maybe um, I've realized that, like, I've got an extra set of hands, so I may as well do something that I need an extra set of hands for. Like, the, like, I don't know, um, taking, taking something apart and putting it back together. I'll take your part. Sure. Sure, Jan. <laughs> sure, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Sure yeah. says says he, yeah says the bottom anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, like maybe we're taking apart. I don't know what's the gayest machine that we could take apart. Let's invent something really gay. Maybe it's like an ore extractor that I picked up used on an old world, like on on some world we visited, and I want to resell it. So yeah, I, we've I finished all of my my chores and. And I'm like, hey, you want to take apart my ore extractor? <laughs> We're really going through, like, my entire repertoire of winks here. I have a lot more winks than this. I feel like I've gone through at least four. Anyway, um, so how I'm holding myself right now is um, confident, but also curious. Um to an outside observer, I am much more interested in this machine that I'm taking apart than in you. Um, I am obviously much much more interested in you than my fucking <clears throat> ore extractor, but this is my excuse. Um, this is the cool that keeps you uncertain. Okay. What's what's what what did you roll for your posture? Oh, it's a five. Oh fuck. Okay. <clears throat> Mine's a two. Because I put one dice in it. <laughs> okay. Because I think right. I think the captain is falling apart. <laughs> yes, just like fucking losing losing her shit. Yeah, like oh god, <laughs> what do ah, what do I do? <laughs> fucking look at me <laughs> here. Um, so here I can clean the screw off for you. Yes, yes, yeah, I can. yeah. <laughs> just uh, what you want me to scrub this stain off the floor? I'll do it. Give me your rag, whatever. Um. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, when, when you say that, I think that, uh, uh, I'm just, like, stumbling over my words, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. and I'm, uh, I think, I think, like, the captain is, is tall, mm-hmm. but f- seems very short right now, looks very short, because her posture has, like, sunk, um, and, uh, and she keeps kind of, like, ne- leaning slightly to get closer to you as you talk um not like a weird uncomfortable way but the way that someone like when they're leaning in to listen would Mm -hmm. um and uh the look of uncertainty i think uh uh, on her face is just makes her seem much smaller than usual um because otherwise she carries herself quite confidently because she has to um uh so yeah i think when you're like do you want to help take apart this or machine she's like uh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what? Where? Where did we get this from? 
And how... Oh, you know. <sighs> you want me to do what? Could you set up the, the electrolysis bath? Uh, some, of this, <laughs> some of these components are rusted. Uh, Actually, you have no idea how to do that. I'll do that. You, um... Uh, she, like, hands you a rag. Um... Okay, so as you admit, oh, this is me entering touch. Um, uh, as you make your advance, describe how you move. Um, so I think I put the rag in your hand and I put my hands over yours to show you the correct way to clean off the outside of this machine. And I say to you, um, it's, you have to hold it like this because this rag is treated with a very powerful I'm just making this shit up solvent <laughs> um, and if you do it wrong it's going to get into your skin um, so if you hold it in this very particular way um, you'll be okay alright as a side note there's a whole machine like old ass machine restoration section on YouTube and like if you find somebody with really good hands those videos are weirdly horny. <laughs> I would like the record to reflect. Okay. I'll do research later. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so uh yes, um hold on to hold on to the rag like this and so on and so forth. Um yeah, and she goes to like set up set up like an electrolysis bath. Um to to like get the rust off some screws. Anyway. Electrolysis battery. I don't know what the fuck they're called, but they used to do something with batteries in those videos. Anyway. Um, they're also very soothing videos. Anyway, so yes. Um, and what feeling spreads like lightning through my heart is um, this is like my hobby, and you're joining me in my hobby. Um, and I, I really like it. I like working with something else on these machines, even though you don't know what the fuck you're doing um so yeah yes and it, it could be seen as unremarkable because you know i don't want you to like get burns on your hands from right. my specialist treated solvent rags right yeah 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 all right your turn uh what what, what was your resistance again mm, my resistance was five fuck yeah okay so are you taking you're taking i have and yeah i i rolled three that were higher or equal to to that <clears throat> okay so I, I marked down three um and then what did you what's what's your did you roll uh two or higher for your touch dice yes i rolled three damn that were higher i rolled a six a five and a three so i also take three thrill uh i take three you we both take th three thrill Okay, all right, all right, so I mark that down. Uh, yeah, so I think when you do that, um, I actually drop the rag entirely before you walk away, before you unlace your hands from mine, and I put my hand on top of yours, my other hand on top of yours, to keep you there, mm -hmm. and uh, turn to face you so that I'm making eye contact with you. Um... Uh, which is not uh, unremarkable or accidental. Oops, whatever. Um. <laughs> Anything can be unremarkable if you spin it right. <laughs> um, the feeling that spreads through my heart um, is my heart is just absolutely racing, which is part of why I've been stumbling over my words. I'm probably sweating more than <laughs> is normal. Uh, not unusual in this environment, but I can tell like it's nervous sweating. Um, uh, and uh, all of I I feel completely off balance. All of my movements, I've got mm -hmm. and again. I, I'm I'm the fucking captain. I've got great balance, so mm -hmm. this is all like way out of my comfort zone. Um, yeah, but uh, I I think the way that I try to spin it off, as I put my other hand on top of yours and turn to look at you, uh, as I say to you, uh, wait, don't don't just. I, I, I don't understand. Can can you show me again? Uh, I mean, I thought it was pretty obvious, but yeah, yeah, I can, I can show you again. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so trace. Um, so yeah, I just I just do it again, and this time, like, I take my time. 
um, the truth behind the casual touch, the thing you can't ignore, is that, like, this time I'm taking my time. Maybe a little, um, I don't know, fucking cupcake playing background <laughs> of my mental soundtrack. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, this time around, it's a little bit explicit the way I'm showing you how to. (laughs) (laughs) Explicitly wiping down something. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. So, so my highest trace die is a five. Oh, fuck. Yes. Well, guess what? Six. What? So eat that. What you say? Six. Yep. All right. Well, au revoir. <laughs> More fucking as many trace days as I can lose. Yeah. Same. Same. Yeah. Same. I'm down the floor. <clears throat> au revoir, my dice pool. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah. I. I think. I think just the extended contact. Uh. Is. Is. Is what. Is. Is the tingle. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we do that again. Two more times. Right. Oh my god almighty. What are we down before dice? Jesus lord. Alright. Um, okay. I think this time I'm not going to put anything into posture. Okay. So you're just going to have absolutely no resistance to make? N- yep. A mess, 100%. remember? Yeah, oh yeah, no, no. You're, you're... Fucking falling apart at the seams here. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you... Uh, okay, I'll start us off. Uh, posture. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything. I uh, don't have any cool whatsoever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think that when you finish uh, this it, it, demonstration, um, that I don't go to move. Like I don't go to like part our hands or anything. I just sort of stay in the same position that when there's like that you know when you, you have like that feeling of hesitance where you're hmm. you know something has to be done but you're not ready to do it yet because you don't want to end a moment you're trying to stay in the mm-hmm. moment as long as you start at 10 dice much to trace on the top of each breath wait what yeah I think, I think we're doing that right yeah well um <clears throat> um uh um yeah, so I think that's what's happening here. Um, is yeah. like she does, she does. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't want the, the moment to end, and so she's not making. She's not making that. She's not making the move to end the moment. No, by all means, absolutely not. No, 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 no. no. It's 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 um. It's it's some. I forgot my fucking character's name. <laughs> it's I mean, it's you and fifteen other fourteen other people. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, it's, it's Simone who has to break away, and I put my resistance is five. Damn. Um, yeah, I only put one die in it. And I just rolled lucky. Um. um what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, it's it's her who like walks away and you know starts up the the bath to get the the rust off the screws and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I say to you, you know, this is. It's gonna take a while, um, so I, I hope you've got the time. If you if you wanna see it through, uh, and then just, you know a little bit of stammering, and then she um, uh, making my advance, making my advance. Um, I think I think I I start working on like um a part of the machine that I still have yet to remove. I don't know. Maybe it's like a, an arm or something. <clears throat> mm-hmm. No, it's the drill. Let's, 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 shit, let's be gay. It's the fucking drill. <laughs> um, and I, I'm trying to get, pop that off so I can clean under it. What the fuck ever? Um, <laughs> and I say, hey, can you, can you give me a hand with this? You're, um, brawny. Like, like, brawnier than me. Um. I'm giving you an opening to to do your thing. Because I, I cannot think of... I, I've invited in, but I can't think of anything else. Yeah. 
I think that I go just completely fucking red in the face. Um, it's probably not the first time anyone has, has ever, like, acknowledged the fact that, um, you know, I've got a good build on me. You got um, the beef. I got the beef. Where's uh, the beef? Right there. Yep, right here. Um, but, uh, I think it's, that it, it's, that it's coming from you, like, flusters me immensely, uh, and does not help with my nervous state. <laughs> mm. Uh, so I, I think I get up from wiping down whatever the hell it is, um, and I say, uh, yeah, yeah, just, get, get, just move, and I walk over. I think it'll be, uh, easier if we do it together. Um... Yeah, my my hands are are dirty from. My hands are grosser. No. I literally li live in a grease bucket. Just help me out here. Okay. And like maybe we're both like using, some kind of prying implement. Yeah. 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 None of this is real. Science is fake. Machines, <laughs> machines are <laughs> immaterial. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, we we use the the doohicker remover um mm -hmm. what feeling spreads like lightning through my heart um is horny <laughs> let's be real it's horny <laughs> okay yeah uh i i think i think uh for the captain captain oliver um that it is a lot of tension like, I, like, like, I could, <laughs> like, like, the captain in her head is, like, imagining, like, the next step is two people up against a wall type situation. Like, like, in, like, fantasy land is, like, playing through her mind like a movie. Like, that's where like, she's it's at. It's like an episode of Scrubs. It's like, it's basically, like, <laughs> Scrubs in her head right now. Like, Scrubs <laughs> fantasy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where she's at. Um, but. Okay. <laughs> but still trying to keep her shit together. <laughs> yeah. Not succeeding. No, no. So I think when she goes to <clears throat> help you remove this thing with this sort of, like, lever instrument, um, that she puts her hands... She No, she, she, she goes to, like, slide her hands down the thing, but her hands, oh. like... <laughs> Her hands like slide over yours mm -hmm. to end Naturally. to end just right below them, where she's. It's my bridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so we both we both took three for throw. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I I don't feel like I need to answer the rest of the questions. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So what's the thrill here? We both took three this time. This. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I only wait. Because I, I roll... Oh, shit. Sorry. You're right. Okay. What did you... What was your resistance? My resistance was five. Right. Okay. Okay. So you take two thrill. Okay. Uh, and then my resist... My resistance was nothing. And I, I had... Only had two dice in touch, so... Okay. So then I take two. What the fuck? We're still tied. Are we? Damn. Deadass. Um... Okay. <laughs> Trace, a warm, a tingle, a shiver you impart up on her. The truth behind the casual touch, the thing she can't ignore. Um, uh, I feel like there's a lot we can't ignore here. <laughs> um, damn. What can't we ignore? What, what, what can I ignore? Um, I cannot ignore how fucking big your hands are <laughs> like I have small and nimble fingers mm -hmm. um, yeah. deft hands deft kind of very deft and yours are very large <laughs> <laughs> really gay game hey Quinn hey Quinn I know I've heard this before this is really gay <laughs> Qu Quinn is gayed out oh Kate, my god Kate right the fuck out of here <laughs> Uh, well, if the game, if the game gets to the conclusion that is in my character's head, yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> Woo! Okay, all right. So yes, yes, that's what she's thinking. That is like basically all that is on her mind right now. Um, 
And also, like, uh, also, like, where you left that rack. <laughs> well, oh my god, where'd you put that rack? Did you need something? <laughs> um, how about you? What do you, what do you, what is the truth behind the casual touch? The thing you can't ignore? Uh, I think that the captain is currently feeling a significant compulsion to, to just drop the fucking implement that they're using and mm. turn around and just, like, go, like, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? <sighs> Give in to her, to this, this desire, this fantasy that is playing in her mind and, like, you know, like on 5x speed, basically. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's on loop, like, like, yeah. Fucking... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, and I think, yeah, that's, 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 uh, where, that's not where she's at. Uh huh, yeah. Well, it fucking sucks that we got one more round to go, huh? <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, okay, so, wait, uh, how many dice did I start with? Did we, I don't remember. I started now. this round with four. You started with five. Oh, okay. So I, I probably lose at least one. Yeah, no, my high, my I only put one die in trace and the two. But you can only do one more, so. Okay. All right. Um. Casual deniable contact. Well, we fucking threw that shit out the fucking space window real fast. <laughs> uh... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's uh, where's casual deniable content? What are you looking at? Oh, I'm looking at um three rounds to make your feelings clear through casual deniable contact. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Um, okay. All right, so one more. Okay, so now we need to re reassign our reassign our um things. Holy okay. shit! So I'm <laughs> getting... actually I'm gonna roll for ah. Fell off my desk. I'm getting what dinged. Is... I'm getting dinged somewhere, and I can't figure out where it's coming from. You're ah, getting what? I'm getting dinged somewhere, but I can't figure out where it's coming from. Oh, we should darn me bonkers. Well, I can't hear shit, so oh, okay. that works out nicely. I figured uh -huh. it out. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 Right. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. Cool. Good. <clears throat> um. Okay. I didn't put anything into into posture. I put two things in the posture and nothing into touch. Um, Damn! <laughs> wow. I, I, I fucking don't have a head enough for dice to know what that's going to do or to like think ahead. So you know what? Tell me what happens. Okay, so how I'm holding myself, the cool that keeps you uncertain, the dance you were just learning. Um, well, my highest posture die is a three. So like, I think that I am also now. And I go back to, um, I'm the one who breaks away from our doohickey moments. <laughs> uh, emphasis on the do, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, just, just wink number six. <laughs> um, and I, I get busy, like, cataloging things that we have taken off the machine. Like, I, I, I pull out um, an actual physical notepad and, like, my little, like, work tablet, and I start um, making a catalog and diagrams of, of the machine and how I think the circuits are inside and so, for so on and so forth. Um, yeah, that's 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 about where I am physically right just now. Um, okay, it's the cool that keeps you uncertain because like I have a tiny bit more cool than you do, just like about this much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the captain's like, what the fuck is going on? I can't tell <laughs> if anything's happening here, but it's just me. Um, so, so yeah, so uh, I think she she follows you over there. Um. And she is going to, again, put a hand on your shoulder. Mm hmm But this time it's not the shoulder that's closest to her. It's the one that's furthest away. Mm hmm So it's almost like, almost like her, she's wrapping her, her arm around you. But it's not. It's just the hand is placed. Um, 
on uh, um, hey. <laughs> 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 um, on the other side and uh, she uh, places a hand on her hip and looks over your shoulder at the diagram uh, and I think she just says your name but she's not looking at she like looks at the diagram briefly but then looks at you um, and then just says your name Captain. <laughs> uh, we move on to the to the touch phase. Well, yes. I kind well I kind of said what she what she was, yeah, doing anyways. Uh, so okay, I'll explain on that. So I think uh, when you turn and say captain, uh, she drops her hand, but she lets it slide down your the top like your arm to your elbow, and then drops it back down to her side. <laughs> Okay, I need a moment. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Going a little beyond the Uncle Aaron there. Uh, (laughs) uh, What was I going to say? Yeah. um, Okay, so yes. What what feeling spreads lightning through your heart right now? Uh, As you do that. um, uh, I think the feeling is like, it's now or never. An intense amount of anxiety, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. and magnetic attraction, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. where she's like, Th- "This is it. I, I I can't wait anymore. It either is or or it isn't, and this is gonna be when we figure it out." Yeah, it's gotta be now. Over mm-hmm. like this fucking war extractor. <laughs> yep. Christ. Uh. Okay. Um. And I, oh my God, what am I, what am I going to do to like to fucking, as it were, top that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what, what was your resistance? Uh, five. Okay, I, I have, I have two thrill on you. Okay. So wait, does that mean I get, I get two thrill? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. Cool. And you're not going to get any thrill because I don't have any dice and thrill. Um, oh, yes. Which means that I've taken the lead. That's that's what I hope this would do. And oh, I see what you've done. He's gotta fucking make the first. <laughs> Can't tie. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, I think that I um I here's what I do. Here's what I do. I I I'm like going through the components that were t- that we've taken off. Um, and you know I've been keeping track as we go, but this is me cataloging the latest batch of components I've taken off. And I tap just I just like tap your shoulder, um, and I say, hey, look at this. Look at this. Come look at this. This is this was made by. I don't know, Seth and Jeff's fucking inventor. Look at this, look at this. You can tell because of the techno babble. Mm-hmm. Um, and like this this techno babble goes on for a while and she just like keeps touching you through it. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah. 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 Also, anything Eric's that would be fucking unreal. Um <laughs> to end this without anybody making it. Uh, yeah. Couldn't handle it. <clears throat> yeah, I would I would physically die. I would physically expire. Uh, so yes, 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 yeah. Um, so, you take no thrill from that, because... Mechanics. Um, yeah, alright, so... Um, a warmth, a tingle, a shiver you impart on her, the truth behind the casual touch, the thing she can't ignore... Um, the truth behind the casual touch here is that I want to get my hands on you, but, like, you are still, oh, captain, my captain, and I don't want to fuck it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't want to be, I don't want to be the one to fuck it up at this juncture, so I'm just going to, you know, touch, touch the biceps as much as I can, um, while excitedly explaining to you what it means that this was manufactured by this person, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Um, 
How about you? Um, sorry, I got distracted because there actually is a game after us. Oh, fuck. When is it? Um, well, where's my calendar? Because I got the Zoom notification that I've been signed out. <laughs> I was like, wait! <laughs> There's no only one reason I'd be signed out all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, there is a game. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're, we're still good here, but... Um, yeah, yeah, let's just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. But we're we're almost we're almost to the end. So uh, and and if if yeah, uh, yeah, we'll work it out. It's fine. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Want a tangle? Or should you impart on her the truth? Find the casual touch. The thing she can't ignore. So the thing you can't ignore for me is that like I am plainly doing this because I want yes. to touch you. <clears throat> uh, how about you? Um. Uh. I think I reciprocate the touch. Um. Uh. Sometimes. Um, like I'll put like a hand over yours or, or like when you drop your hand, I'll, when I'm saying like, oh, that's, that's, oh, you're right. That's interesting. Or why is that? You know, I'll, you know, put a hand on your back or, you know, mm -hmm. briefly touch mm -hmm. your shoulder or, you know, mm -hmm. your forearm, something like that. You know, just gals being pals. Once again, just yeah. gals being pals. Just pals. Pals only. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So... So that was the third round of that. We go to the breath phase, right? Or do yes. we jump? Okay. To... Yes. Yeah. All right. And yes. so at the end of this phase, whoever has the least thrill takes a resolve token. So that's actually you. Um, you have taken the only resolve token so far. OK. Um, so that means that you're going to be the one who initiates it. Yes. All right. Breath phase. We know how this works. Um, do you want to start with the memory? Yes. Now? Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Uh, um, I, so yeah, as we're doing this, I think I say something like, do you remember that one time we were in the junkyard and we were just there to buy just regular, regular pieces, N nothing, nothing unusual or strange or dangerous. Um, uh, but we got ambushed out of nowhere by just some local band of brigands that were there to steal the things that we had taken the time to dig out and and um, our money and and maybe try to even still steal our ship uh, and that's when I got shot really bad it was just some asshole with really good aim and you were the only one there I, I honestly was not even sure that we were going to make it out. It's probably the scariest experience I've had like that. Um. She's all, she's just sort of like staring at you blankly like, uh. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I, 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 this might sound weird, but out of all, out of all the, I guess what I'm I guess what I'm trying to say uh, is I'm glad you it was you I'm glad that I have that that memory with you not with anyone else uh, and I think that um, uh, that she kind of looks away at, at that confession embarrassed mm -hmm. um, and the moment's come in place because I think that we've we've done that before like I think that you've maybe even gone off by yourself to into junk like scrapyards and things like that to get mm -hmm. pieces and parts but this time yeah. this time i decided to go with you for no particular reason it just in the moment i was like i'll, I'll go with you why not you go by yourself and then time. you got claps <laughs> okay so how is this moment commonplace oh so that, that's how i think it was commonplace because you've been down there before yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess what makes it extraordinary in that case is that I went with you this time, um, but then also we got fucking shot up. Um, yeah. And what's the between the two of us is that uh, I got shut up real bad. Um, that was one of those moments where you had to hold my guts in. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And and I say to you, now I understand that this is like how you're supposed to play this, but like it, I, it even fucking says, tell her. 
Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I just saw that too. <laughs> Whoops, whatever. As, as I have said several times, rules, they're not real. Um, also, it worked fucking great last time. It so, did. Whatever. Um, and I, I say, yeah, you know, machine forgotten. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's the first time I ever, the first time I ever saw you as human, you, you'd always been sort of larger than life, this, this sort of fucking Captain Demigod who swooped into my life and gave me a home, but, you know, it's, it's hard to see somebody as a, a demigod when, um, you know, you're holding their intestines in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Okay, so how was it electric? Um, I... It wasn't, like, electric in a romantic way. It was electric because, like, I could have let you die if I had hated you. If you had treated me poorly. Mm -hmm. um, I had never had that kind of power over somebody before. Um, which is honestly a little fucked up, but I also think that Simone's got a little trauma she's working through. So, um, what made it stick with you? Well, it was the first time you got shot in my presence. Certainly not the last. Mm -hmm. You know, they say that your first time's supposed to be special. I find that that's frequently not true, but um, this time was very special. Mm -hmm. And why has it found me here in this breath? Um, just like I had your small intestine in my hand, now I've got your heart in my hand. Or just as I, let me try that again. Just, just as I had your small intestines in my hand then, I have your heart in my hand now. Mm -hmm. It's only a couple of, it's, it's like less than a foot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you're, all, you're all up in my internal organs. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Weird wink number seven. <laughs> uh, okay, your turn to do inhale, I think, right? <laughs> okay. Um, and I say... That reminds me. I don't actually have anything in mind. So I'm just going to start talking until I have something in mind. That reminds me of the time we docked on that space station. And it came under attack by raiders. And we had to hide in the ducts together. Um, and it was just you and me. And all of the cash on the ship. And we, we didn't know where our crewmates were or if they were even alive. And if it was, if, if somebody was going to fucking shoot into the duct and kill one of us. And it was one of the, it, it was not the most afraid I've ever been. And it's because you were there. So how was this moment commonplace? It wasn't really. Um, <laughs> we were hiding in a duct that I think that I I fit into much better than you. Although it's very considerate. No, maybe it was more like a Star Trek-esque Jeffrey's Tube. Um, Jeffrey's Tube? I don't know. What's a Jeffrey's Tube? I don't remember. I don't know. Like the, the you 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 watch Star Trek and they're crawling like through the ship. Hey, go. No, cause oh, sorry, I don't watch Star Trek. <laughs> he um, he he um, yeah, they're they're like they're like. Hold on, I'm pulling up an image. They're like thick ducts, but like big enough to be plot convenient to walk through or gotcha. like to crawl comfortably. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha, um, gotcha. yeah, yeah, and like well lit and ventilated. Um, okay, so moment was commonplace because that's not the first time we've been attacked by like raiders. Mm -hmm. It was extraordinary because we were in pretty fucking close quarters um, with nothing but our money and no gun. Um, and what stood between the two of us then? Um, uh, that was a moment where I was starting to actually trust you. Mm -hmm. um, partly because, you know, I trust you and partly because I had to fucking trust you. Um, because you were my only chance of making out, making it out of their life. 
Mm -hmm. A lot of life and death shit. Come I on. know. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what happens when you're smugglers. We're in space. Yes. That's what yeah, that's what happens when, when you're in queer space. Um, uh, okay. How this memory has changed my feelings towards you. Um, uh, so I think I, I say in response to that. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, yeah, that was scary. Um, I, I, you, you know, my sort of mo is to always keep everybody on board safe, and I did not feel like I did a great job then. Um, so it was, it was, it, it felt good to be in that situation with somebody like you, who I knew could, who could handle themselves, and that would have my back in, in that moment. Uh, wow, well, gay. <laughs> uh, how is it electric? Uh, I, I think that, um, I think that really was, uh, that's exactly what happened in the captain's mind. Before then, she viewed Simone as someone that she had to protect. As someone sort of vulnerable. Which is probably, you know, everyone's vulnerable in their own ways. But, but, uh, in that moment, she was like, oh, no, I, I can actually rely on Simone. Um, no. Uh, what made it stick with her, the captain? I like how it's gone from Oliver to the captain. <laughs> I just keep calling him the captain now. I feel like I feel like <laughs> titles are inherently more horny than names. <laughs> well, especially when it's the captain. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, what made it stick with Oliver the captain? Captain Oliver um, is... Only the captain. <laughs> God, that's like their thing, right? Like, like, like when they're finally sleeping together, it's like, shh, only, I only want to call you the captain. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, that's your thing. Got it. Um, uh, 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 what made it stick, stick with her? Um, I mean, it's kind of like a life and death harrowing situation. Those sort of have the, that effect. Um, but I think there was probably this moment where they were you know, crawling out of one of these Jeffrey's tubes or whatever. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's perfect! <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, where they're crawling with these Jeffrey's tubes and um, Simone, like, you know, is, is doing the sort of sneaky stuff, you know, peeking around a corner or whatever without, without me having to give her that guidance or even having to take charge in that moment. Mm -hmm. um, of being like, oh, hold on, you know, you stand back here, I'll do the, you know, dangerous frontline work. And I think there's this moment where she's, like, watching Simone and sees this, like, look of dedication and concentration on her face, and it's just, like, like, she doesn't forget that image. Um, uh, why is it found her in this breath? Uh, because I think she sees that look on her face all the time now. She sees that, that reflected in her expression, always. Um, and now even as she's like going through her inventory of items and reading off all the techno babble and that sort of bullshit. This is so gay. <laughs> I'm kind of like, sometimes, whenever, whenever I hear something so gay, you immediately have to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah, it's time to act. After the third birth phase, which uh, we skipped ahead, um, whoever has the most resolve token seizes the moment, steals a kiss. Which whoever has the most, so that is it. The court says. Says whoever has the most resolve tokens seizes the moment okay, and right, steals the right. kiss. I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay. Wait, no. You get a resolve token. You got a resolve token before, because you had the least thrill. So you are the one with the resolve token. Okay. So, All right. I got confused for a second. Okay, so so I'm the one that has the most then. Yes, you have exactly one. <laughs> okay, God, what one. a mess. <laughs> uh, she gets to savor the glory and relief of having acted on her desires. Um, yeah, I think in this moment, uh, the captain, after saying that, responding back to that story, just sort of gives you that long look that comes before, you know, when you know somebody wants to kiss you, 
and leans in uh, for the kiss. Does the thing. Mm -hmm. And you know, I don't think that Simone can help saying, finally. <laughs> <laughs> and do you want to just cut there? Yeah. So we have two questions to answer. To okay. Close this, this whole experience off. Was it worth the wait? Fuck yes. Mm hmm. Agreed. Are you going to do it again? And more. Yep. <laughs> uh, and that was Lightning Kissed, everyone. Thank you <laughs> yeah. for going on that journey with us. Thank you, Quinn, for hanging out and chat with us and giving us some guidance on um, parts of the game that we were confused about. Yes. Um, uh, I will uh, uh, actually probably, I'll just go ahead. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do out. We'll go ahead and do outros and give everybody a last chance if they want to enter into for a drawing, into the drawing giveaway, whatever, uh, for a free copy of the game. To enter, you're gonna put into the chat hashtag or pound sign kiss to enter uh, and um, give everybody some time to do that. And then before we actually end, I'll go ahead and uh, draw for the the winner or whatever. Um, so we do have another game coming up, so we should, which actually we have plenty of time for outros because um, we have fifteen entire minutes. It's cool. Yeah, it's just us. So uh, yeah. So uh, what I'd like to do then is instead of just jumping straight to outros, uh, is talk a little bit about like what you enjoy about the game, favorite moments, just thoughts in general, whatever. Uh, book club. Um, I love the book club portion. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. What I, you know, I was a little bit hesitant when I saw that there were like dice in general. Yeah. Cause you know, I, I, I fucks with dice. I don't like fucks with dice like that though, but like, I really liked the dice system. Mm -hmm. Once we got the hang of it, it felt very intuitive. Mm -hmm. Um, I liked the way that, um, you set the tone at the beginning mm -hmm. to make it completely explicit how your character is feeling. Mm -hmm. I like, and specifically, I like the what do you fear in her question? Because we started out the first scene just like generally what are we afraid of about each other? And then, you know, next next go around, we narrowed it down to what are you fer fucking terrified of in this exact moment? Right. So that's, and I like the whole thing, but like those are a couple of things specifically that I liked. How about you, Nox? Um, yeah, I was I was intimidated by the dice uh, element as well, because um, I wasn't sure how the those mechanics would fit into the rest of the more like just prompt based uh, gameplay. Um, but I learned about this game from a buddy of mine, uh, Anders underscore D underscore K or Anders underscore DK on Twitter. Um, he's got uh, a, uh, on his Twitch channel. He he does. Um, um, uh, kind of what inspired me to play to actually do this romance season of the indie showcase but he does like I think it's every Monday night uh, uh, date night and just plays romance games uh, on his channel every Monday um, and so I watched him play uh, this game over there mm -hmm. and I asked him about the dice part because um, I was worried about that but um, yeah I, I actually enjoyed it quite a bit once you get the hang of it because it does introduce that sort of random element that keeps you on your toes a little bit um in like okay i i like you know i want the characters to kiss but now i'm having to figure out how to navigate through you know uh if you roll really high on posture and the other person is not doing it for you how are you still going to navigate towards the outcome towards a conclusion that you want mm. um so i like the sort of like creative exercise that that introduces with the dice um it did it did take a little bit of time for me to kind of get a hang of it but uh, yeah but i feel like the second round was was smoother yeah yeah, yeah. partly because of a little bit of time pressure and partly because <laughs> we actually knew what the fuck we were doing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah that helps um yeah. I, I like that the game does create uh, some sort of feeling of tension through the experience, mm -hmm. um, which is really neat, um, which I think is what makes these sort of games addictive to play. 
Yeah, I, I don't do a lot of romance when I'm role-playing. Like, I've, I've, of course I've played Starcrossed. Mm-hmm. And I've played Good Society, but... God, I've played some really unhorny games with Good Society. <laughs> like, I played the least horny game of Firebrands in history. Um, yeah. So, like, I don't much get horned up in games, but... <laughs> This was like a nice easing in to getting yeah. romantic in games. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, what I like about these kind of games too is that you could play this like you could you could supplement another game you're playing. Yeah, you could just like drop this into mm-hmm. a good society game or mm-hmm. um, anywhere you needed some romance. Mm-hmm. But you, if you wanted to, um, drop it into like a firebrand framework game yeah that would be as a mini game a very long mini game true traveler yes <laughs> <laughs> you die before the end of it though <laughs> yeah uh any thought any other thoughts um uh, i know we said this on break but like i feel like there was enough tension at the end of the first go round mm-hmm. for us to like done it but like i'm glad we went through the second go round, and i cannot fucking imagine having gone through the third one holy shit yeah i think if we went through the third one it would have it, it wouldn't have been just a kiss it would have been uh, yeah they would have absolutely like smashed cheeks yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah yes the incredibly like that was not a slow burn that was a fucking forest fire <laughs> 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 yeah yeah and I, I, so I have a tendency to play, um, like these, uh, sort of, <laughs> sort of these, like, quiet, uh, soft butch characters or, um, cocky or whatever, just because I grew up on Sailor Moon and Sailor Uranus was my bisexual awakening, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a tendency to play this kind of character a lot. Um, uh, but I never, like, imagine you know tops and bottoms or whatever as far like i just always imagine that my the characters i play are the romantic aggressors that's Mm -hmm. the right way to put that or whatever but yeah a hundred percent i was like oh oh no the captain is definitely (laughs) the captain's going to make the first move but like yeah (laughs) everything after that (laughs) yeah yeah she's 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 emotionally fragile as it turns out and is not going to lead the rest of the encounter yeah, yeah, wow, gay. Yeah, it was super gay. Now I love this captain character, and I want to play them in a role-playing game. Yeah. What I'm saying is, like, there is... Is there an in-space variant of Good Society? I think there is, but it's not my in-space variant of Good Society, so... Maybe someday. Hmm. Maybe, some, anyway, maybe someday. Um, maybe someday the captain and Simone will meet again. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway... Uh, yeah, probably a good idea to start going ahead, uh, go ahead and blah, well words. Let's start doing outros. Oh, let me actually pick the winner. Hold on, before I forget. Uh, let's draw the entrant. And Val, Nerdy Niffler is who won it. I don't know if Val is in chat with us anymore, but I will reach out to her and hook her up with a copy of um, Lightning Kissed. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us, entering and donating. Um, uh... Let's do outros. Sam, where can we find you on the internet? Some shit you're excited about. Whatever else you want to say. Um, I'm Samantha Day. You can find me on Twitter at Passerins. You can find my games at passerins.itch.io. Um, if you are a little too happy right now, consider buying Virtuous Service, my sad mech jam game. Guaranteed to produce a tragedy every time. Um, and thank you, everybody, for watching me. Yay. Sam, you're awesome to play with. Thank I'm you great. so much. I'm amazing. I'm incredible. It's yeah. true. Yeah, you are. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun. This was, this was good. Um, I'm Knox. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here on this channel. <laughs> Um, a lot. You can find me here every fucking Saturday. Um, doing more of these indie games next uh, Saturday. This coming Saturday. Whatever. 
same time slot. Um, uh, I am playing in another romance game. I've been playing these romance games for a long time. Um, uh, and maybe they'll get spooky around Halloween season. Um, but the next one I'm going to be playing is a game very much outside of my comfort level. Uh, so this will be interesting. Uh, called A Cozy Den. Um, where you play uh, lesbian snakes. Like lesbians. Yep. Um, living life together inside of a den. Uh, so it's going to be me, uh, Emma K. Hansen, Alex Gaston, and Val, actually. The person that won the, the um, fucking drawing. Uh, so uh, no idea what to expect there. Um, but uh, that'll be interesting. So tune in for that. Still scheduling out um, other games. If anyone is interested to play a romance game with me, just hit me up with a suggestion what you want to play. I'm pretty much just trying to leave preference up to my guests, uh, since I basically want to play them all. So I want to play a game with you that you want to play. Um, uh, oh, no episode of Invisible Sun tonight, because uh, Dan uh, is uh, our, our a GM. Uh, is uh, in a hurricane right now. Gross. Yeah, yeah. Hurricane. Right. No, he's he's actually in Canada. He's actually in Halifax. Right? Isn't that wild? It went. Yeah, and he doesn't have power right now. So yeah, isn't that crazy? All right. Or, or, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Dan's, well, Dan, glad glad Dan's okay. Yeah, just no power. Um, but anyways, Invisible Sun will be back uh, next week. Um, Oh, after this, we have a one-shot. What's the one-shot? Uh, our, our Monster of the Week one-shot, I believe. Uh, uh, our hunters are hunting Faye. So stick around for that. It's uh, coming up right here on the hour, actually. Um, so having said that, I'm going to go ahead and bid you all farewell. Thank you again so much, Sam. This was a blast. I had so much fun. Um, and we'll, I'll see everybody here uh, next Saturday. All right. Enjoy Cheers. the rest of your weekend. Bye. Yep. Bye.